Niliweka nadhiri na nilimwambia mwenyewe weka jala kabla hatujablokiana nilimwambia siku ya kuja kuachwa mm-hmm. yani nitatangaza mji mzima watambue kama nauza dawa za mende katika jamani katika dada katika <laughs> kaka yenu kaenda kutembea na msanii wake afuka mfukuza uh-huh. eh mtoto wangu kashika ujauzito kamtelekeza kweli okay. haujifichi alikuta message <laughs> Maskini kajala. Oh my god. I don't think dragging will end anytime soon. You all know that Kajala has been trending all of yesterday and also today. So Juma Lokole is making the most of it because you remember Juma Lokole was one of those people that didn't want Kajala to kind of be with harmonize because Juma Lokole is so loyal to Diamond Platinums that anybody that is against Diamond is against him too. So it so happened that Juma Lokole took a couple of videos of where he's campaigning celebrating on how Kajala's relationship is failed. I feel like he's doing a little bit too much. Down in the comment section you could see people like Lukamba and also um, on Platinum sister aka Big Headed Hesma. You know just having a kicky moment with the laughing so i'm just wondering what's a funny yes people make mistakes okay yeah i must admit kajala has made like more than mistakes you know there's no way somebody is gonna do that to you and then you go back in there so this time round, i wonder what the excuse will be because she's even embarrassed to tell people what exactly happened but anyway tell me what you think down in the comment section do you all feel like juma Loko is doing a little bit too much or Kajala should just be smeared like this I mean to human is to her like I was telling you that Harmonize knew what he wanted from the gego and he knew very well that Kajala loves money that's why he lured Kajala with them cars he's out here putting on them billboards but anyway I saw this very interesting um, comment on Instagram I want to share with you all. and of course and of course, shout out to uh, Bongo Trend. I think I've said this before, but anyway, let me read uh, what this person wrote because it, pro- it, it practically what I've said on my previous video. It started by saying, Harmonize mjanja sana, even divyo, mnakumbuka kuwa ukiachana na mwenzio wako na mliachana kwa mizingwe mizingwe na ikitokea mmoja wenyu akataka mrudiane basi msijaribu kurudiana wakati harmonize anapatwa na ile cash fire ya Paula kuonyesha ile ndo inge ilimuumiza sana harmonize ndio maana akatumia nguvu kubwa sana kumrudisha Kajala ili tu naye aje afanye jambo lililotakikana ampe uhuru kwenye moyo wake hivyo basi kama kweli wamewachana basi harmonize anavuta vingi kwa Kajala vya siri wakati Kajala aliachilia kwa harmonize kumbe harmonize alikuwa na lengo tofauti kabisa siku moja siku harmonize akiamua kumwaga vita na Kajala inji <laughs> Hey, tell me what you think down the comment section. This person is practically saying that the real reason why Harmonize even went after Kajala is because he wanted to know what Kajala was all about. And then he knew very well that Kajala used him before, so he wanted to get back at Kajala. But right now he knows so much about Kajala that when the war starts... <laughs> TZ will burn, honey. TZ will burn. But anyway, we're loving the tea. We're loving the kiki. If you see one, send it to me at Drizzy underscore radio. Keep it classy. Stay messy. Let's chop it down in the comment section. And of course, don't forget to follow me on IG at Drizzy underscore radio. I love you to the moon and back. Adios.